Hey guys, Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Very excited for this upload today. Um, we have got the Pedal Porn Gypsy Vibe. Okay, so um, I put out a little clip of this um, a couple of weeks ago, just playing. I like to do that with these effects. I like to get to really get to know them so the review that comes is like, not just knocked up in five minutes and it's honest it's what i feel you know um so the tones i always put out first so you guys can hear and then we we look in a bit deeper <laughs> There seems to be a bit of a buzz about Union Vibes at the minute. Um, a lot of good videos going out from really big players. Um, I've got a playlist of a lot of Union Vibes I've tried that I'll, tr I'll drop in either up here or down here. Um, but that aside, we're going to look today right in at the Gypsy Vibe. Now, um, Chris from Pedal Porn is, is a big gear hound, you know, primarily before Pedal Porn. You know, he's, he's a fantastic player um, and very passionate about his gear. He's had some great gear, he's had some, you know, really OG uh, fuzz faces and univibes and stuff like that. In fact, so much so, I've played one of his originals, which this was cloned off. Um, what can I say about it straight away? It hits hard. It does definitely hit hard. Um, it throbs very, very, very hard. So the intensity on this wants to be about, in my opinion, my sweet spot's about 1.32 o'clock and you kind of get more mids creeping through. The, the higher you dime up the frob, the more bass comes through. So depending on rig, as I've always said, everything with a Univibe is rig dependent. It is so, so rig dependent. Like I can play this through my vibral verb and it can sound one way and I can play it with exactly the same settings through this head here or the orange and it sounds completely different. So, you know, you've got to really take into account what your amp is doing to get the most out of your Univibe. That being said, in my rig, yeah, about 1.32 o'clock is a real sweet spot. A lot of mids come through and it's not too funky in the bass. Um, the chorus is, is very good. It really is very, very good. Uh, and the vibrato has a nice wobble to it. Also very good. Knobs are easy to control. Uh, the Minimax is very nice if you need to control it on the floor. There has been some um, concerns about where the foot switch is. Personally, I've not had a problem with that. Um, these knobs don't move, you know, you, you can't, they're not easily moved, so you, you're not gonna stand on the unit and it's gonna knock your settings, um, not unless you're, you know, smashing it with size 20s or something. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna try and run through the settings on this, okay? I'm gonna play some simple chords and we're gonna actually dial through the knobs. This is a first for me, maybe a second, um, but I thought it'd be quite nice to show it off and then at the end, I'll just do some casual playing with it and put a wire in the chain because that's how I like to play with a vibe. Um, and I'll try and show off to you what I believe is the best settings within the vibe. Um, so what's Pedal Porn got to say about this? Um, so as always with Pedal Porn, the, the packaging is really nice. It comes in a lovely package. There's a lot of case candy in there. And uh, this is what Pedal Porn have to say. We haven't built a vibe, we've built a time machine. The Pedal Porn Gypsy Vibe has the thickest throb we've ever heard. It can thump your amp speaker into a pulsing heartbeat. 
We've only ever heard this tone before on our Magical Vintage unit, in which we took major inspiration from 3D swirl, magical colours, quite simply, the psychedelic 60s in a box. Um, and then it goes on to say about tagging them in uh, the social media, which, um, yeah, pedal porn at the minute, they they you know, they got the Texas Ranger out, um, they, they, you know, the, the Fuzz, which is fantastic. Both really, really good pedals. Um, and now the vibe, so... There's definitely a niche for pedal porn and what they're, you know, what they're aiming to provide. And that's vintage tones, you know, uh, at more, you know, affordable prices um, with, with modern reliability. I mean, if you were to search for a, a real Univibe, you're going to be playing a thousand pound up, you know, uh, well, it's, it's a thousand pound, I mean, two thousand pound up. And then even then speaking to a friend of mine, you know, you're not guaranteed you're going to get a good one, you know? So while people have been moaning about £400, personally, I think that's a very fair price for what you get out of this. It's reliable. It does sound very, very good. Um, it's pedal board friendly, uh, and, and it just works. It works. I've tried it in different areas of my chain, and it just works fantastic. So, uh, yeah, no more talking. This is Richie from Fret Junkies. We're going to dive straight into the video. Thanks for being here. Peace. Okay guys, so uh, we are set up. I've got the 62 Strat going into the Vibroverb via the Gypsy Vibe. Um, I'm gonna give you some clean tone first and then we're gonna begin, okay? So neck pickup. Okay, so that's just a neck pickup straight in, no tricks. All true audio, and we're going to engage the gypsy vibe now, and the settings will be shown in the video. I'm going to cycle through some easy chords and um, show you what this thing can do. Neck and middle. Okay, and we're gonna go back to the neck. And we're gonna start by altering the speed, okay. I mean, that's quite an extreme setting, but you just want to show you how fast and how slow this thing can go, okay? So we've got that fast kind of shimmer.
that's like kind of reminiscent of like a slow Leslie, I suppose. Very nice and pulsing. So that's the speed setting kind of gone through, okay? And like I said, I'm not trying to uh, play too much here. I'm just showing you what the settings have got, okay? Um, uh, now we'll sh show you the volume. I will say this is this pedal is um, obviously it's more of a modern um, take perhaps, and one of the things that I noticed straight away from it that you don't see in some of the older trusted or older yeah trusted units is that it has unity gain, um, so there's no volume drop. Um, in fact, so much so I like to set the volume back a little hair off, and that's kind of where it's where it kind of hits the right spot for me. So. So there you go, there's the... And now if I engage the pedal. It's actually a little bit of volume added there. Which is kind of nice, right? Obviously, uh, will depend on your backline volume, but I mean, this is quite loud. This is a vibral verb on four, unattenuated. So anybody who knows these kind of blackface amps knows how loud that is, okay? Um, so let's look at the throb on the chorus setting quickly. That was the throb all the way maxed out through that. Sorry about that, I didn't realise. Um, I personally don't have it set there. Uh, about 130 more mids come through in my ears. I think that's really nice, the, fro the, the throb set back. And depending on your uh, rig, you know, if it's maxed out, it might get a bit too boomy for you. We'll try the volume now, uh, sorry, the speed now with the uh, throb set, how I would say. So there's less, obviously with the frog back now, there's less of that bang, bang, whacka, whacka sound, which is great, right? Thank you. 
Okay, so I think that's the chorus taken care of. We'll shift to the vibrato quickly. We'll leave the settings where they are and move straight across. I think the, vi uh, the vibrato side needs speed to actually wobble. I think um, the older, like I had a Resley unit, and um, which is a really old unit, and the old units kind of must degrade over time because in the vibrato settings on the old units, there's there seems to be like more of a uh, more of a wobble, less less clean is the only way I can explain it. Um, that doesn't mean that this isn't great and can't be used. It's fantastic, but yeah, in them old older uh, boxes, you definitely get more leaves and twigs as I read recently. very very usable almost with the vibrato setting you need to pick the throb up a little bit to get the best out of it in my opinion Wobble is more pronounced, and the speed. You want to speed up.
Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of what the pedal can do. I'm going to play out now for a few seconds, um, and I'll probably play through the through the custom head here into a Celestian speaker to give you an idea it could sound different in your rig, okay? Uh, I hope this has helped you guys um, find out a bit more about this pedal. Thanks for being here as always. This is Richie from Frat Junkies. I'm going to play you out. Peace. <laughs> Oh, my God.